Hello and welcome to Rust, a new noobs guide part 1, getting started in 2016. So this series is going to partly expand on the previous series and clean up some issues if you are using the previous series as a guide. There are some things that you will not be able to do and certain features that are no longer in the game, namely landmarks. So I'm going to try and cover as many of them in this new series as I can. And I'm going to start off by showing you this house I constructed. Um, it took me two hours and in two hours I managed to get all what you see in front of you right now. I managed to get a Thompson blueprint, body armour, uh, ammunition blueprint for the Thompson and enough resources to build another building. However, that video I recorded from start to finish, Windows decided to corrupt it. So, I can't use that video to show you how I got to this stage. So what I decided to do, after being a little bit pissed off at Windows was start again. So I start off completely stark bollock naked which is why my character is running around if you were eagle-eyed enough to notice I only have wood and stone on me. I'm going to use that to um, effectively redo the video and construct a small building but I didn't want to spend two hours doing it so what I did instead was I uh, I went for a smaller build which was faster and it's probably more recommended if you are newer to the game. Okay so how do we get these houses I hear you ask? Well um, you do not start building them straight away. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to locate a landmark. Uh, the easiest way to do this is obviously get up somewhere high and either look for the water tower that you can now see directly in front of me or power pylons which run between all of the towns. Once you're at the towns you can use the roads that also link the towns. I would choose the roads over the power pylons um, once you're coming across them because um, the roads contain these metal barrels they also contain food boxes. Now while it is very difficult to starve to death in this game. I do recommend eating everything you come across until you are on 100% hit points and your food and water is up as high as it will go. Um, just better be safe than sorry really. The reason why we're coming to these towns is as you can see already I've been in this town two minutes, I've managed to find myself a handgun, high quality metal um, and some medical supplies. Also I've managed to find some blueprint frags. Now the more blueprint frags I find the better and I'll get to that in a minute or two. Now um, we don't want to waste time building a house at the start because if your rock is damaged and you haven't um, got yourself uh, the, necessarily, uh, the necessary tools then you know you're gonna be stuck you're gonna be constantly using your tools to get more tools and you're gonna be stuck in a shit cycle and then eventually you will run out of resources and then you'll be crying to the admin another reason why we go to these towns first is because here you see a workbench and here you see two research tables and that is actually quite significant because you know I said most of these barrels drop blueprint frags well they sometimes drop tools as well on the odd occasion they also drop the actual item you want to research and nine times out of ten that's after you've researched the item in question but here you can see I have just managed to find myself a pickaxe so if you deploy it in the research table you'll notice you have a 30 percent chance to transfer that item into a blueprint you add the blueprint frags you have gathered that now has gone up you can get it all the way up to a hundred percent but seeing as I already had the blueprint for the ice pick pickaxe I wasn't too fussed at using all of my blueprint frags to risk it for a biscuit and it paid off so it wasn't too bad 
once you've got your tools, um, whether it's just like you know a revolver uh, and a, a metal hatchet and one of the upgraded pickaxes, once you've got those three basic items, you can start worrying about how you're going to get um, get to a base and you know build one and have the resources to do it. So you'll see me as I play this game, I'm always picking up hemp. That's not because I need it to make a base, but because it does come in very handy to replenish your life if you get damaged or injured. Um, also to make clothing as well as medical supplies. And when you do have a revolver like me, then on the odd occasion you might want to shoot the odd pig. And then you can skin it with a bone knife, remember that, a bone knife, for the best results to um, get the animal fat then obviously you can make low-grade fuel. So in my next video I'm going to show you once you have done everything that you have just seen there and you start running off to the dome I'm going to show you what to do next and I'll give you a breakdown at the end as to how long these two videos actually took me to do.